Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Lee, this is Jo, and today we're going to share with you how we make the most of the inside of our camper. For those of you that have not seen the inside of one of these campers, uh, this is our Jayco Hawk. And uh, as you can see, it's quite roomy inside. The bed ends slide out and uh, you have a like a queen size bed and a double bed over that end there. And the thing we particularly like about this camper is the fact that it has two distinct areas. You have a kitchen area here and you have a lounging area over there. Works really good for us as a couple. Well, now starting off in the kitchen area, we're just going to give you a bit of a look at what we store in the various cupboards. So we'll start with this one here by the fridge. As you can see, they're quite deep cupboards. Uh, we'll open that one up, give you a bit of a look. So in here we store various tea towels, cutting boards, etc. Our Corel dinner set and coffee mugs are stored securely in that little tub. Uh, that keeps them nice and safe for when we're on the rough roads. We've not lost anything yet. And there is plenty of space in behind there to store cola bottles, wine bottles, and we just wrap them in tea towels and we haven't lost anything on the rough roads. So that's been really good. Okay, we'll move on over here. So there's two drawers here. So top one, pretty stock standard cutlery drawer. We store the salt and pepper there. They fit nicely and that stops that little tray from rattling around on the road. Second one, we store all the cling wraps, foils, etc., and a whole lot of little knickknacks and bits and pieces in there. Down the bottom, this cupboard we use to store towels, toiletries, some first aid items as well. Our first aid kits are kept in the car as we do like to have them on the road when we go out and about, but we store extra bits and pieces in there. Now, under the stove here, there is quite a large cupboard as well. We'll have a look in there. So saucepans, coffee maker, kettle, all that sort of thing. When we do a long trip, we tend to lift these things up and we can store a, a layer of cans underneath there. So you can see there's plenty of room and of course, another deep cupboard. Now this cupboard under the sink, that's a bit of a trick one. Just get into that and once again, it's another lengthy cupboard. And you'll have a look in here. It's a bit of a trick to get into, but it's not too bad. So we tend to store things that we use every day in the more accessible area. In the back that's harder to get to, we store board games, tins and packets of dry food that we don't need to access all the time. And we use keep a torch in there and it's, it uh, helps us to um, look in the back for different things. And a long pair of tongs as well. They are very, very handy for grabbing a tin of something or a packet of something when you can't quite reach. Going back to our cooking equipment cupboard, which is underneath the stove, these are our items. We don't carry a real lot. We have a gas stovetop kettle. With, that's been with us ever since we've had our camper, so it does look a bit battered. It's travelled well that it's little made time. a lot of coffee. <laughs> it has. Okay, this item here, our um, steamer and pot, we purchased after having the camper for a little while. We saw it and thought, hey, wouldn't that be great? But this you can use as a saucepan. You can have something in the bottom and use it as a steamer, just like you would at home. Or you can use that as a colander. So that's what we do. That is all we need in that regard. And that just cooks so much. So our next favorite item would be our trusty frying pan. This pan has cooked many a whole meal for us in the one pot on wet nights, cold nights, windy nights when we've needed to cook in the camper or if we've had a big travel day and just decided to cook in the camper. So it does have a, a multi-sized lid, which we use with it as well. But that is wonderful. Our trusty coffee pot. Oh. We wouldn't leave home I, I without want a, it, I, would we, Joe? I want a coffee now. 
<laughs> Every time I see it, I'm doing the Pavlov, Pavlov's dog drool coffee. <laughs> and because it's metal, you don't have to worry, like you do with the glass ones, that they will break. This travels really, really mm. well. And it's insulated. Yes. So the coffee stays hot Very in it for hot. ages. Yes. And we have a couple of baking pans. Not a lot, but they function for us very well. We have a little Coleman camp oven, which we use outside on the gas, and we can cook some amazing little treats. Cakes and scrolls and bits exactly. of bread. Beautiful, hey? Yep. That's good. That's about it. Yeah, that's everything in the, cup, in the cupboard there. I also have two small cast iron camp ovens and a cast iron skillet that I'll use on the fire. That's right. And that's the extent of our cooking gear. We really love the stove in our camper. It's got us out of trouble on many a cold, windy, wet night. We have used it lots. So it's got three gas burners and it's got one electric burner that can be used um, when you're plugged in at a caravan, yeah, park, caravan park, which we've, I think, used it once in that situation. Otherwise, we're generally free camping. Um, I've had three pots on there cooking things all at once, which doesn't happen too often, but it can be done. In here is a little grill, and that is wonderful. We actually use that to cook our toast. We don't carry a toaster, we just love to cook our toast on the gas. Muffins. It, it saves us having more utensils. So, yeah, um, we've, we've even done lamb chops on it. We have. And it's cooked them up a treat. Yeah, we have. So I there you go. About that. And no microwave, we don't need a microwave when we go away. This is plenty for our needs as well as the outdoor cooking. Yep. Okay, just a quick uh, mention about our fridge. It's a little 90 litre Dometic fridge, three way, runs on gas, 240 volt or 12 volts while we're driving. And they're a little ripper. We'll go into it in a lot more detail in another video, but it works a treat. A fair bit of storage there. You've got a nice little freezer up the top. A bit of storage and shelves. Uh, this is well used as you can see but it does a great job there. And then there's a little catch there just to lock it off there. We use it with a uh, digital thermometer so we can keep an eye on the internal temperature and if it starts to warm up we simply crank up the uh, the dial there. Works great. Right, moving down to the lounge and settee area of the camper we'll start off with this drawer here under the settee which is quite a decent sized drawer. Now we use that for our pantry items. Uh, it fits so so much in there more than what I ever would have thought. Uh, we've got a bit of non-slip in there as well for that just perfect for all our pantry items and easy access much easier than getting every pantry item out from under the sink there right and this little box here we've got to share that with you it's one of our little tips joe has a lot of knickknacks sorry <laughs> and he used to just probably leave them all over the table on the chairs on it on the bed end just everywhere and he'd often lose his car keys in amongst it all as well so i thought i've got to have something where i can just throw all these bits and pieces and it's all in the one spot so we got this little box from ikea it folds flat so it sits under one of the bed ends when we're traveling and uh, it's got a little lid if you need it if you want to if you've got valuables in there like camera gear and different things like that you can just pick it up pop it in the car when you go out for a day mm. so that has been very very helpful it wasn't even very expensive yeah i've got to say it certainly kept the inside of the van a lot tidier yeah, hasn't it it has that's for sure it's and been we good haven't lost car keys since we've had that no that's right <laughs> okay so underneath this settee is another little cupboard <clears throat> So just in the back there, so we store extra cotton blankets in there for the beds and if we've got a bigger trip we can actually squish them up a bit and we can fit a row of um, cans or bottles of drink or whatever yeah. in amongst there as well. We sort of nicknamed it the dog food cupboard a bit didn't yeah, we? Yeah we did. It tended to have a lot of dog food in there. It did. Works Absolutely. a treat. Yeah. Okay I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, the settee that we have here. Uh, this little table, it's really, really good. 
it can be removed and dropped down to make a bed for a small child using uh, these sort of back cushions. There's one more cushion we don't carry with us because we never make a bed out of it. But um, it's really good. This is our TV place. We'll, uh, we'll just sit here. I'll sit my little 12 inch tablet there and a uh, great little place to watch the TV. You can sit back and put your feet up and um, uh, life's good. Great little city, especially on a cold, windy night. Um, it's, it's a nice place to be. Okay, now there's some more storage here. There's quite a large storage area under this um, seat. Now, it's where our battery is stored and our, our chargers. I also use it for putting spare parts and bits and pieces. And over on that corner over there, we'll tend to throw cans and the like. So it's sort of a universal storage place. So that's one storage area. And there's another one here. Now this one opens up to the outside and I tend to access it from the outside. But I'll give you a little look what's in there. <clears throat> this is normally all my cooking gear for outside. I'll, I'll put my bass, bass, my gas stove in there with uh, the camp ovens and so on. Uh, and then over here we have uh, some spare parts, wheel bearings and bits, and everything to do with our chemical toilet plus our uh, dustpan. And that's pretty much the storage area. It, um, it's quite adequate for our needs, Lee. I think. What do you reckon? Absolutely. That was done very well with it, to be honest. Now for one of the highlights inside the camper, and that is the mystery rack or chin-up bar. The most common asked question on the Facebook Jayco uh, campus page is, "What's this thing for?" So, so Lee, what do you use it for? Well, we use it for hanging towels, which we believe is what it is intention for. However, I reckon you could put a couple of clothes hangers up there and hang a few light items of clothing if you wanted to, but it works a treat for us to hang towels. So that's what we use it for. Perfect. Don't forget to fold it up when you drop your roof. Oh, yes. I reckon there's been a few of them that have gone by the way of the flying mystery rack and have been damaged so don't forget to close it up yep. all right and now for the bed ends and the mattresses etc so here we'll start with underneath the beds joe's mentioned this in an earlier video he has put some insulation there just to make it a bit warmer especially for me who really feels the cold um, now we have in our camper the original mattresses. So these are 16 years old now. They're 100 millimeters, about four inches thick. They're the original foam mattresses that the camper came with. We don't have any toppers on them or anything, and we find them really comfortable, to be honest. Having said that, however, they are starting to get a bit hard. You notice that when you're on a longer trip and they sort of get harder as the- After a few the days. Trip yeah. goes. Mm -hmm. um, so we're thinking of upgrading those this year, but we will just be getting the four inch, 100 millimeter foam ones again, because we find them wonderful. Um, now for the bedding. Um, when we first got our camper, we had lots of sheets at home. So we just took whatever we could get our hands on from in the house. And then, you know, I'm not getting any younger and making the beds became a little bit more challenging. So I actually ordered fitted bottom sheets that are made especially for Jayco's and we purchased them online through RV Parts Express. They are a game changer. They are the best. Yeah, they're exactly the right size. The, yeah. the earlier ones, weren't the right size and they're a bit of a nightmare to make the bed. Mm, they were big yeah. and floppy and, and wouldn't sit flat. Yeah, so these are just perfect. Now the only catch is they come only in this grey colour which for our camper works well. So for the top sheet and the pillow slips I went to Spotlight and I matched them pretty close. Really well. So happy with that. And we use these cotton blankets on the top. They are just a nice little cotton blanket from IKEA 
they're wonderful we've got the spare ones of those in the cupboard there that we showed you and when it gets really cold we have sleeping bags which are rated minus five and they go over the top as well and truly that's all we need mm, use them as a doona and they're beautiful and warm yeah now hot tip with your pillows we each like a different pillow. Joe likes his quite firm, I like mine a bit softer. So when we purchase new pillows for inside the house, we purchase two each. So we each have the same pillow as what we have inside and that just ensures we have a much better night's sleep. So that's a really good tip mm. to remember that one. Yeah, made made a huge difference, didn't it, Joe? It did, yeah, yeah. it's really, really good. Yeah. Mm. Right, one thing we do love about our Jayco camper is that we have beautiful views all the way around, which is really lovely, particularly when you pull up by the water or you've got some nice mountains to look at in the distance. But we have got curtains which close everything off beautifully. These ones even close off the bed ends. And these curtains are actually the original curtains still that came with the camper. So they are also 16 years old. They're showing a little bit of wear now. We have washed these curtains. They're probably due for a wash again. They pull off fairly easily and go into the washing machine as do these little frills here as well. And I oh, haven't right. had to put them back up again because I've usually been out at work and Joe does Yeah, that I job. do that. They just held on by Velcro, so they're super easy to put on. And the curtains just have a little plastic slide that goes in a track, so very easy to remove. Yeah. But seriously, for curtains that old, they're still in in pretty good order. Condition. Now, one thing I'd like to bring up, and perhaps some viewers uh, could answer this, oh, I know what you're going to ask. a lot of people have put rollers, uh, roller blinds in. Yeah. Now, I'm just curious, has anybody had roller blinds for, yeah. say, three years or so? How are they faring? We've often spoken about yeah. it, but I just didn't Lots want to commit. Feedback, yeah. yeah, just didn't want to commit in case they uh, weren't all that robust. Like these curtains, they take a a hammering and uh, they, they, they're great. So, okay. pop, pop a note in the comments for us, folks. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we'd like to talk about is the cushions and the covers. So these are still all the original foam within these cushions here. Uh, the covers are all the originals as well. They do copper pounding. We travel with the dog all the time, so he's always up and down off the seats. Now, they are all zippered, so you can pull the covers off to wash them, which is really good. A little tip when you put them back on, leave them a little bit damp and get them on that way. They go on a lot better, don't they, Joe? They actually fairly damp. Fairly damp? Fairly oh, damp yeah, because yeah. they do shrink a bit when they get wet. Oh. Yep. You need to uh, have them wet so uh, them and they, they will fit on quite well once they're damp. Good luck trying to get them on when they're dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and they wash up very well. Um, we've never had a problem with them. And Joe's also brought the spot cleaner in here and given mm. them a little clean too. And they just come up a treat. Yeah. They're good. Well, we hope you've enjoyed that little tour around the inside of Hazel Hawk. If you're new to... Jayco pop-up campers or even if you're an old hand we hope there's been something in our little video that you might have found interesting or I'd like to uh, adopt uh, for yourself there we've uh, evolved over many years of camping and we've ended up uh, with the setup that we have now it's fairly minimalist but it works really good yeah. uh, we're firm believers of less is more exactly now I'd love to know if anyone's set up these roller blinds, let us know how you've gotten on. Uh, after a couple of years, we're keen to consider it. Mm. Um, we're not the best sewers, so uh, they're, <laughs> they're a pretty good option, aren't they? Yeah, perhaps. And if you've got any other tips on how you use the inside of your Jayco camper, we'd love to hear them. Pop them in the comments. Absolutely. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And please consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, bye. See you, folks.